So here we are. It's the ready to start of week nine tonight with the Green Bay Packers at the San Francisco 49ers. But right now, I'm going to go into the top 15 tight end rankings going into the week. Number one, who else would it be but Travis Kelsey versus the Carolina Panthers? You know, Kelsey's a bona fide number one tight end, the best in the league. And every week, he puts up the top numbers for you. So Kelsey, he's the number one tight end. The number two guy is Darren Waller. Of the Las Vegas Raiders, he had a bad week last week with five catches, 28 yards, but I'm ranking him number two here at an L.A. Charger team that they can't stop nobody, and I expect Waller to have a nice fantasy day for you guys. The third guy's T.J. Hawkinson. Now with Kenny Galladay out, his targets and his catches and red zone targets are going to skyrocket, so he's going to be my third tight end versus Minnesota. He's going to have a good game. The fourth guy is Rob Gronkowski. The last four weeks, Gronk's played back into playing shape and played a big role in this Tampa Bay offense with a touchdown in his last three games. And I think he's going to get that fourth touchdown in four games this week versus the New Orleans Saints. I got him at four is Gronk. Number five, Hunter Henry. He's had two bad games the last two weeks, but I think it's a bounce back week in a home game versus the Vegas Raiders. So Hunter Henry, I think he's going to have a monster game, actually. He could get anywhere from 15 to 20 type of day, I could see. The six guys, Noah Font, he's been banged up the last few weeks, but he's been back, though, playing. And this week, he's got a dream matchup versus the Atlanta Falcons, who a lot of teams and players go up and down the field again. Plus, it's indoors. He don't got to deal with the uh, Denver weather. So in Atlanta, Font's a number six tight end. Number seven was staying in that game, Hayden Hurst. He's had some good games the last few weeks, and this week he's got another good matchup, plus he's home. He don't have to face the elements either versus Denver. So Hurst, he could have a nice productive 10 to 15 as he's been putting up. Number eight, Evan Ingram of the New York Giants. He goes to Washington versus the football team. And Ingram, he's a guy I've been down on on the last few weeks, but the last two weeks now, he's brought it back up, and he's a guy... I wouldn't be that disappointed to have a tight end in PPR leagues. He's been getting 10 to 12 fantasy points. And this week, I could see him do about the same. The night tight end in the rankings is Eric Ebron. Last week, he was on my sleeper list. And he didn't disappoint with four catches for 48 yards and a touchdown versus a solid Baltimore Raven defense. This week, he's got the matchups of all matchups also versus the Dallas Cowboys, and we could easily see Ebron get in the end zone again in that one. Number 10, Logan Thomas, a guy I've been telling you guys about for weeks now. And once again, Thomas, I think he's going to find the end zone. He's found the end zone in his last two games, and three weeks ago versus the Giants, he had 13 fantasy points. So Logan Thomas, once again, versus those Giants, He's going to get you 13 to 15, I think. Number 11, Jared Cook at Tampa Bay. Sunday night football. Cook, his targets might go down and his looks. Because it looks like Sanders and probably Michael Thomas are coming back for this big matchup for the division this week. But Cook, he had two good weeks in a row. He's getting double digits. I'll still trust him to go out there and get you 8 to 12 points. The 12th guy is Mark Andrews. And he's been in a slump the last two weeks. And I said on my bench video to bench him. And this is why I got him in number 12. I could see Andrews only getting four to eight points. And the matchup isn't good at all. Indianapolis gives up the least amount of fantasy points to tight ends. And this week could be another dud for Andrews. The 13th guy, Robert Tanyan. Another guy I told you to bench. Tonight he's got the San Francisco 49ers. I don't know. If he's going to get the job done, I think it's going to be Rodgers and Adams show here tonight. And maybe the running backs if the game gets out of hand early. Because San Francisco, their whole roster is banged up, it seems like. Jimmy G, Kittle, Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel. So they're playing fourth and fifth stringers here tonight is the San Francisco 49ers. And I could see Rodgers to Adams early. And them just running the clock out. So Tanyan's 13. 14 is John o. Smith. Versus the Chicago Bears in another tough matchup. I told you guys to bench John this week. The last three weeks, he's got a combined six fantasy points, I believe it is, in PPR leagues. And that's not going to get the job done. There's a lot of mouths to feed over there in Tennessee. With Henry, obviously, in the backfield. Then you got Davis and A.J. Brown on the outside. And once again, 
Smith's going to be the fourth option in that offense. And he's my 14th ranked tight end. And the 15th and final guy is Jimmy Graham. A guy I said to drop this week. And I'm sticking by it. But tight end's a weak position. He's still getting some decent targets. And he's been getting 6 to 7 points a game. But that's not going to make a big impact in PPR leagues. So I'll rank him as the 15th and final tight end. So that's 15 tight ends rankings into week nine of the fantasy football season.